Just doing a photo shoot. <laughs> My name is Vladimir Kravchenko and I am 33 years old. I work part-time as a lawyer and the rest of the time I'm pursuing a career in photography. Now directly into the lens. Super relaxed, super chill, looking out the window. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful, one more. I moved to Australia with my family in the year 2000 during the Sydney Olympics. I was born in the former USSR, a country that no longer exists. Um, it's called Ukraine these days. We Ukrainians don't like it when put, people put um, the article the in front of Ukraine. It's just, it's just Ukraine. I think the age at which I moved, I was 12 turning 13, puberty is difficult in itself and when you move to a new country with new rules and with a language you don't really speak, um, you suddenly find yourself to be this deaf mute or a bit of a freak. Um, and that, that was challenging because right before moving to Sydney, I was you know, a very popular teenager at school and I felt like the world was just opening up to me because I was gaining independence from my parents and I had lots of friends and stuff, have a lot of fun and suddenly upon moving here I found myself in this you know, very um, unenviable position of a complete outsider who is not well understood and who can't understand people very well as well. Let's put one foot on the table. As I was finishing uni, my law degree, there was a moment where I became quite determined to become a photographer. I was, um, I was sort of interested in everything and enjoying life too much to be, be thinking about a career. I had sort of vague dreams, but not, didn't make any, oh, it wasn't, a time during which I made any plans. And what if you pop it to the right, towards the, yeah. 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 Been going on for, in this format, for three years. But um, I've sort of had this interest in photography for a decade now. But until, until three years ago, it's always been on the back burner, if you like, or a, a hobby, and now it's become something more than a hobby. The photos that I'm most fond of, of mine, are the ones that have as much of me in them as possible, that somehow reference my life and emotions at a specific period of time, that, that are basically autobiographical in some sense. You walk past something or you end up somewhere in like a room or a restaurant or someone's house or a park. And, and you notice something that, that speaks to you visually and you kind of take that initial element that was appealing and kind of think of some sort of a story, if you like, around it. Let's try yoga from above. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, go. go, go. I'm not fully in, in, in the world or in the industry. I'm somewhere on the periphery, you know. If there's a big industry highway, then I'm on some dirt bike, sort of, um, go, you, you know, going next to the Autobahn and 
hopefully weeping up a big dust trail and stuff and, and just keeping up with the cars that are um, you know, zooming on the Autobahn. I think if, you, if you've got a little bit of talent and you, know, and you apply it regularly, then it's sort of inevitable that your unique place will exist for you and you don't need to elbow your way through to the front of the line or whatever. We're all unique and have a unique voice there. It's just a question of talent and um, labor, you know, yeah, and application. And so I don't really think about standing out, if you like. I think about what I want to do and I trust that the standing out part will take take care of itself.